Hello, my name is your lovable widower, Prince DJ. Now, some of you here in Big D country and whoever's listening to this podcast might be wondering, Prince DJ, why the hell are you watching? Aren't you watching the Super Bowl? You know your official team is playing the Eagles. Your official. Um, your official Kansas City Chiefs is playing the Eagles in the grandest stage of them all in the NFL. Why? I'll tell you why. Number one, I don't have a TV because I don't watch commercials. Because especially when I'm broke, right now, I'm in an easy emergency. I say easy because I am still waiting on a check. Because I still have to pay the other half of the rent. Because I had to pay partial rent when I was coming Coming back from the great, one of the greatest podcasting conventions that I love ever. There's two that I love. You all know that is PodFest and Podcast Movement. So, not only that, there was a time that I used to go away to watch the Super Bowl because they have a TV. Okay. Now, I don't even have money at the end of the month to go to a Super Bowl party or watch it at a bar, okay? Like some people are doing now. No, 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 okay? Now, they do have coverage on the NFL.com live, but they have it in a way where you can't even uh, uncover the play button and it's blocking the view of the action, okay? Mind that! Mind that! They are showing ads. They're showing the Super Bowl ads. I don't have any money right now. I am waiting on a check that could keep me here so that I could try to transition while I'm waiting on Section 8 on different places. Okay. Okay. And I'm trying to wait on Nugent coin that, that is supposed to be transferring coin to Ethereum or a way to transfer coin to Ethereum so I could get the money that I need so I I could either use it at Podcast Movement in Denver or I could use it towards my move. Either or. Now, I tell you this, citizens of Big D Country, and I say this with a crazy heart. The fact of the matter is, every holiday, I'm alone. Every big event, I'm alone. And this happened ever since the saddest time of the year, August 28th and and September 1st, 2016. The worst single year of my existence on this planet Earth! And it takes time, like the Super Bowl and upcoming Valentine's Day, although I recognize two Valentine's here at Big D Country, which is both the beautiful Princess Carla, who is the Madam President of Big D Country, and the beautiful First Lady and Queen of GSP, Dr. Irene. I recognize them as a crush of mine, I recognize them as Valentine. And yes, I did give them a Valentine early because I wasn't know that I was going to be shut off off the internet because I'm still waiting on my money! I risked my life on Groundhog Day 2023 to give BMO Harris another chance to give them a redemption. And what does the state do? They call me the next day to say, oh, we got your paperwork in, but it wasn't on time. You're going to still get one more check and then a check that you will be getting direct deposited is in March. Which is to say, it will be the same time that I will be almost on the way back from Podcast Movement Evolutions. 
I risk my I risk my life. I had an off and, I have an off and on cold resulting in that. I was in the wind chill cold where temperatures within the teens and the twenty all freaking day where a Lyft driver who had a Tesla. Now I love riding in a Tesla. Don't get me wrong. That was the only best part of the whole experience. But that driver was uncaring, did not want to make things right. And so I had to wind up risking my life. And then coming out, depend upon when the check comes and if it comes tomorrow, because it does not take long for St. Louis and Troy, Missouri to get mail because it's in the state of Missouri. And you want to know what? The official team of Big D Country is going for a title. Not just a title. But, I mean, I had to watch through video clips. Because I will not, and I won't watch any ad because I don't have any money. I'm in a tiny, easy emergency. Okay? Meaning that if the check comes Monday night, and I had to wait to go Tuesday during the day, all because it might rain, I gotta risk my life yet again. This time I possibly could catch ammonia or still yet another cold. Okay? And it's weeks, couple weeks until the 6th. Yes, I want to leave on the 6th to go to Podcast Movement. Podcast Movement Evolution. Not the 5th. I don't plead the 5th around here. I don't plead the fifth, but I want to leave on the thing. Okay. Now. Now. The other reason why I'm not watching the Super Bowl is that YouTube TV usually it gives you a free trial. But after the free trial, I guess depending upon where the people live or whatever like that, the chief justice told me in his area, at least, I don't know if that's all across the board or not, but they wanted $64. $64 to watch YouTube TV and his cable channels. $64 damn dollars. I mean, inflation is a joke. It is a joke. $64 damn dollars. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? When all I could give the recognized two Valentine, my recognized two crush in Big D Country is a card. Thankfully, Carla and Irene accepted the card, thankfully. But if it was somebody else who's a scammer, who's a liar, who's a cheater, anybody else would have shot me down like those balloons that I'm going to get in a second. Okay. I don't have YouTube TV. I don't watch the ad. I'm not away at a hotel so I can watch the uh, the Super Bowl. The one game where a team, matter of fact, two teams, both teams are 14 and 3. One of them will be 14 and 4. One of them, by the end of the night, by the end of the night, will be 14 and 4. And I told you, as a show, Heads will be the teeth. Tails will be the eagle. Personally, I had the teeth. Personally. But you want to know why I'm not watching it? It's because of those reasons why I stated. Don't have a TV. I started to watch NFL.com. But they have commercial. YouTube wanted $64 to continue watching TV. When I don't even know... How long I'm going to have to wait so I can pay the electric, no, not the electric, the Wi-Fi before the damn 16. Technically, they said the 17, but they said I got to pay on the 16. And then I got to pay the rent for the 15, vice versa. And I'm waiting on the damn check. It's coming, but I'm waiting on the damn check. It is really getting me up the wall. And I already had a weird dream already. Okay. Mainly the whole of the reason why that I won't I that used to watch the Super Bowl unless I'm watching clips. And I always get the clips though, you know, 
the singing of the national anthem or the singing of, of uh, God Bless America. And some Super Bowl, they had the singing of My Country Tis of Okay. Even there are times that I caught the halftime show. All of the halftime show. All of it. All of it. All of it. All of it. Okay. All of it. I would just like to watch the Super Bowl with no, no ads. I I get YouTube Premium. Now, even though some YouTube channels have their own ads, just like I do with LipGood, but I, it's like when you don't have any money, you can't even do it. You're stuck in a mini prison of impoverished lifestyle. Citizen, it just drives me up the wall. It drives me up the wall. That's why I get premium. Yes, it's eleven dollars, but still, it keeps me from going mad of watching ads when I don't have money. Now, out of gate. Now, that was from Groundhog Day. That was when I had my cold. That's where that came from. It's still lingering. Okay. Because I had to risk my life just to give the direct the right deposit, only to find out that it's not going to be until freaking March when I'm already in podcast movement evolution. Okay. That, my friends, is not right. Nobody's giving a donation except for the one time when I got it just before, just right before podcast. But then I had to wait six days, a whole freaking week to get my money. And just got it at the time when I was at the airport playing Tom Hanks in the terminal. You know the story. I got the deposit, but then I had to wait outside the hotel, seeing somebody who passed out, not even moving anywhere, going into an ambulance because of an injury. Had me scary flashback of when I saw my mother, mother-in-law, I should say, when I saw my mother-in-law, okay, PTSD is real, y'all. PTSD is real. It's real. I had to get scared off my, my back, not only before podcast, but also before the end of podcast, at the, at the closing keynote. <clears throat> and make no mistake about it. Make no mistake about it. I had a dream. Where I was just trolling la la along, walking around, and I heard two beautiful ladies singing. I guess if I thought it was worship songs, I thought it was worship songs to Jesus, all right? They was wearing, wearing yellow all around. They was wearing, you know, a yellow outfit along with yellow top hat because everybody know, or they should know, if they listen to the program long enough, they know that I love different kind of top hats. And yes, even cowboy hat. So they were singing... It was singing worship song by, it was almost like a campfire. So, I stopped. I took a, uh, took a recording. I was going to uh, preview them for the Big D Dome in the dream. And then, they stopped singing. I was like, what? Why did you stop singing? Go on. Go on. They told me. They tell me. You belong to Jesus Christ. You don't belong to Satan. You get out of here. You get lost. But wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. My mind wasn't picturing that. My mind was picturing, but wait a minute. Weren't you just singing a worship song? And then it's just dawned on me. Wait, they said I belong to Jesus Christ. So if they're not singing worship song, they're singing to the devil. They're singing to the devil. And I thought, oh, my God, I better get the heck out of here. I better get the heck out of here. So, so before I woke up, I was like, I don't know if I ran. Or I don't know if I, 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 I don't know if I feel myself running. Okay. But they explicitly said, they told me, one of them told me, 
You still belong to Jesus Christ, even though you're suffering, even though you're going through, even though you're in pain, you still belong to Jesus Christ. Uh, Jesus Christ. You don't belong to Satan. You get out of here. And I did. I sure enough did. I sure enough did. I, I'm still struggling to this day. And then, they're not doing games tonight because of the Super Bowl. I just been through a sandwich. A sandwich where, okay, Thursday night they played games. Friday night they played, uh, they didn't play games only because it was night to shine. And I wish I was at a night to shine. I love Tim Tebow, as you know. Okay. And you still hold grudges over the over the over the stupid past for not keeping Tim Tebow. He would have made a great quarterback. And a Christian quarterback, that is. Not over Tom Brady. The almighty Tom Brady. Okay. So what is this? What is this? What is this? And can somebody please tell me what is all this stuff with this Chinese balloon, the spy program or whatever like this? Now it's like every weekend you turn around, there's a story about a Chinese balloon flying over Alaska. Flying, and then and there was one story where the, the Chinese balloon finally got shot down over by North Carolina. And then more Chinese balloons started. And now this week, Chinese balloons in Canada being shot down over by near Canada or somewhere or whatever like that. I'm like, what the heck is going on? What is going on? I mean, are we in J5007 or the spy that shagged me? Are we in some kind of movie or something? Every weekend comes around. All we hear is another plane that been, uh, another uh, unidentified object being shot down. That's all you turn around and hear. On a, even on a Super Bowl Valentine weekend, all you hear is about a plane, uh, an unidentified object being shot down. That's all you hear. What is going on? What is going on? What the cat is going on? So you mean to tell me that it could be a threat to us? You mean to tell me that if it's a threat, definitely shoot it down? But that is not going to be shot down until it gets safely to the water. Right? Right? Is that my understanding? Is that my total correct understanding? Even though my mind might be slow, I understand. Okay, you have to keep people safe. I understand that. But the way it takes till it gets to water and then shoot it down? Wow. Wow. We're in the middle of a depth ceiling fight. June is the deadline. TikTok, TikTok, TikTok. Do you want us to live? And then Mike Lee, there are people like Mike Lee who wants Social Security, you know, he didn't want Social Security for people who are poor or people who are retired or whatever like that. Mike Lee, I'm not saying Trump because he wanted to help us. And I'm not saying Rick Scott because he also wanted to help us. I'm saying people like Mike Lee. I remember the time during the uh the stimulus fight. Joe Manchin, Christian Cinema. Even sometimes even uh uh even um Mitch McConnell. They didn't want to give us any help. Not the first, not the second, not the third, and probably hell, probably not even the fourth. And I know we're not getting a fourth stimulus check because you know the uh the pandemic emergency is about then. And so it's going to be like a regular epidemic, like the flu or any other virus. Can you please tell me what in the world is going on in that? I had a dream where a lady, I guess who was a Satan worshiper, I guess, recognized me as still a child of God. I, I mean, I have flaws. I have issues. I mess up. I make mistakes. I'm not perfect. And yet still recognize me as a believer of Jesus Christ, even when I messed up, even when I lost God, even when I messed up. I was like, what does it all mean? 
what the cat does it all mean? And yet I had to spend another Super Bowl Sunday by myself. I had to spend another Valentine's Day, even though I have two Valentine's Day, I had to spend it by myself. Unreal. And no game on top of that. And wasn't able to go to the judge's chamber on top of that. So can you tell me why I'm ever struggling this bad? And can you tell me when I talk to people about live good? When I talk to people about live good, even when I'm in their presence, they're not even signing up pre enrolling Yet when I advertise and I pay to advertise, I get people left to right. But now they're not upgrading. What the hell is going on? What is going on? I'm done. I'm done. I needed to let out some steam. Because these are two corners like, oh, 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 wait, I'm not done. The Saturday, uh, after making history on the, the first round of the Game Show Marathon, making history at another Price is Right showcase, I got shot down. I got shot down by the next funniest person on DSP. The next funniest person. Now, I did acknowledge Rodney, and I am practicing for sportsmanship. But on a day, on the two days where it's a sandwich and I'm struggling, I can't get out. You know, I needed, I needed something to make me forget my struggle, make me to forget my pain, make me to forget my insecurity. What happened? I got shot down in high rollers. Not only that, I think even before high rollers, I got shot down in Fargo. Fargo. Hello! I'm an American maid. I'm not from China. I'm not those spy balloons. But I was shot down thanks to those dice in Fargo. I had a bad experience in high rollers. And yet, even though I showed great sportsmanship, which I will still continue to do, even if I lose the ugliest loss in the history of losses other than the last time, when I got shot down by Clint Eastwood. Okay. But then on top of that, the next night will be nothing. Not a zero. Zilch. No going to the Supreme Court. No going to games. Just instant boredom to death. And you're truly on this show right now. Speaking to you before the day before an interview that I have. With Abigail Hell, that was that podcast, uh, podfair, which gave, I think, one of the best classes that I ever heard in the history of me going to conferences. And we will talk about it tomorrow on the Big D Now. Now, depending upon when I upload it, might be the same day, might be another day, because I am going bonkers. I am truly. Coin bonkers. So now I am done. Now I am done. Now I'm done. This is Prince DJ. Liftgoodtour.com slash 50 country. Liftgoodtour.com slash 50 country. Escape to 50 country.com. Escape to 50 country.com. Winter! January, February, the start of 2023, you're fired! Mike, drop.